Junior first of all, congratulations. That was Thank a, you. a good win. Yep. Uh, they say that you learn more from the fights that you lose, but that one was a wee bit of <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, yeah. That was a good uh, challenge for me in the fight. You know, um, I did come away with a large points decision, but there was a point in that uh, fight where I had to, like, you know, really have to physically get myself off the canvas. You know, I got flattened in the in the fourth round. Um, early on the fourth as well, which was uh, quite interesting in itself. You know, so I got floored in the, and I think I think it was like the 15 seconds in the fourth round. So I um, had to be smart for the rest of that round, make things difficult for him so that he couldn't finish me off. Yeah, because he then, bounced on you, didn't he? Yeah. He really tried to pounce yeah. on me big time. Um, then had a few more big shots, but I, but I, um, but I basically like you know hung on, um, tied him up made things hard for him and then came out firing in the fifth round because I knew, I knew, I knew that if he didn't take me out right there, I was going to recover very quickly and I was going to beat him up the um, remainder of the fight, which is exactly what I did. You know, I came away with a large points decision. So, yeah, it was good. Going into that fight, was, was that the fight that you, you, it was obviously a step up from anybody you fought before. Yeah. He caught you with a left hook. Was that something that you were aware of, or you, you studied him at all? Yeah, that was um, that was obviously like his uh, biggest punch and his um, most favoured weapon. You know, uh, with the fights that we've seen, we have seen his lead right hands, but a lot of his left hooks. You know, he loves to um, throw a lot of left hooks to the body and to the head. Uh, this one, yeah. this one kind of caught me off guard because I saw the right uppercut because he threw, uh, he threw just off the break a right uppercut and then a left hook. I saw the, uh, I saw the right coming in and I dodged that, but that left hook came in a lot quicker than I anticipated. Um, so yeah, so we, uh, so we took away, oh, so we took a lot away from this fight, um, but it's, uh, it was good for me to go through what I went through. So then I'm better for the next one. Yeah, it, it, it was. You got a little bit of both sides out of yeah. out of that one. Yeah, it was two from two in 2019. Mm -hmm. um, if you got anything lined up soon, or how many fight times do you want to fight in in 2019? Um, I just basically want to keep myself busy. Um, I know I do have one uh, coming in October, so they so that basically leaves me another full camp. Um, to get myself prepared for this one. This one I'm excited for because I know this one we're going to have on the west side of America again, which is great because that's where all my family is. Um, so, like, you know, I, I expect a very big turnout on my next fight. Um, so, yeah, so that's basically all I know. I know is that we are shooting for um, October. Um, and that it's going to be close to where my family is. So yeah. Are you gaining support over there? Do you find that? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. I think um, I think uh, I think with the Polynesian cultures, I think we uh, I think we really love to uh, support our own. Yeah. Um, especially like you know like um, like even the Kiwis that are like you know based overseas. If they if they basically hear of another Kiwi or like another brown person, like you know. Um, flying over and, um, and and they got something on. They all they all make a conscious effort to like you know be there and um, support. So yeah, so I think that'll be the case for the next time that I go over, which is in October. So yeah, really really looking forward to that one. Oh, I've got one more question. You know all all your problems with the blood and everything behind you now. Did you feel strong at the end of the fight? Yeah, definitely. I, I've been like you know this fight was. Um, was uh, very good testing waters for me, you know. So, um, so going into the fight, I, I basically always had in my mind, you know, ten hard rounds, you know. Um, and like I was excited because it was a chance for me to basically see how, uh, um, how I'm going to be like with a very tough fighter for um, ten rounds. Um, and basically coming away um, after ten rounds, I could, like, you know, I could. Um, reassess things you know I know I could have pushed in a bit harder if I wanted to um, so that's basically a good thing to know like you know because uh, because a few months ago I I probably wouldn't be able to uh, finish that fight if I went in there the same I did in those past two rounds oh in my past oh sharks I think in about a year ago I, I think I had some shocking performances even though I won um, I think my like you know blood uh, levels were like very low 
but now that I went through the fight that I went through and I felt fine through it, I think I will be, you know, um, I think I think in my next few fights it'll be just a different fighter because I know what I'm able to do now. So, yeah. so yeah, going, yeah, so going the distance was a bonus for you, really. Yeah, 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 yeah. man, it was a very, it was a good, uh, what's the word, eh? Like, like, uh, like, you know, like I'm not nervous if I have to go past like a certain amount of rounds, yeah, though, yeah. because I know that I'll recover. Because yeah. I think that was the biggest thing for me is that, like, you know, if I went past like, maybe, uh, like you know, maybe four rounds, I would really, really struggle to recover throughout the fight. Yeah. Whereas um, throughout this fight, man, I was like, you know, like I would like push, but then I would recover straight away. So it's good to know. So yeah, man, I'm keen for the fights coming up. <laughs> <You're beauty. laughs> so are we, mate. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. are we. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, Cheers man. Thanks very much. Ah, thank you. Yeah.